Hello everybody and welcome to my Google Pixel 4 XL unboxing and first impressions video. So very excited to say that today marks the day of the launch of this device. Uh, it's October 24th, 2019. Pre-order started on the 15th of October and uh, T-Mobile sent mine out on Monday. So I received it Tuesday morning. And I've had it ever since. Um, it is being released on Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, and AT&T, along with the Google Store and the Google Fi Store. Um, really interesting situation with T-Mobile specifically is when the launch of the Pixel 3 and the 3XL, coinciding with the 3A and the 3AXL, um, back in February, I think it was, um, maybe a little bit later, I can't remember off the top of my head, um, when they launched, T-Mobile only got the 64 gigabyte, so that's, uh, just black and clearly white, um, I don't think that T-Mobile got the off color, which is not pink, if I remember correctly, or something of that nature, um, but, Anywho, so I was already on a Pixel 2 that my friend had given to me, or sold to me, sorry. So it was like going from the Pixel 2 XL to the Pixel 3, knowing when I got the Pixel 3 that I'd be upgrading to the Pixel 4. Um, now, I just had it for a couple days, so I still have my Pixel 3 XL right here with that amazing frosted glass on the bottom area. And then the normal glass up top. Now this allows us to have wireless charging, fingerprint reader, single lens camera, and power, volume rocker, the uh, just the microphone and the USB-C on the bottom. But then having the front-facing bottom speaker and the front-facing um, top speaker with the two cameras, the two front-facing cameras, standard and ultra-wide. But this is just a standard lens. Now, going into the Pixel 4 now, um, I decided to go with the clearly white because they actually did give that power button the orange uh, accent. Um, and the feel and design is just amazing. Now, this is the most leaked device ever in so many ways since Google posted their own Twitter about it a while back. So... We'll get right into it. You can see I've got my Tech 21 Evo Check um, smoke black or black case. I don't remember, but if it's out for the phone I get every time, it'll always be purchased. Not sponsored, but love those cases. All right, so we open it up. Oh, and the I guess the sad thing is, is I thought that because the Pixel 3 was being launched on T-Mobile mid-year, oh, that's why we didn't get 128s. But come to know, a brand new device pre-order, you don't get uh, oh so orange. That's not available on T-Mobile at all. It is a limited edition device anyways. Um, the, the companies like AT&T and Verizon, and I don't think Sprint got it at all either. Um, they only got 64 gigabyte models of the clear or oh so orange. But everybody else got the 128 and the 64 of the clearly white and just black. So it sucks that T-Mobile this time only got 64 also, which I've been okay with because I have like 20 gigs on an average left. But um, it would have been nice if I had even the option to get 128. Um, and you also don't have unlimited storage this time around in the sense of you get like three years of unlimited um original quality on video and pictures this time if you want that you have to do the high quality which is lower than original but it's still unlimited so I've already done that on this device just because I do have space but I need to use it for other things um, so as of right now I'm not uh, taking advantage of that um, original size on this device anything I take on here I think is good until 2022. All right. So let's open up the box. Oh, yes. So I did say um, the, there we go. 
The Pixel 4 XL, 6.3 inch screen, 64 gigabyte clearly white, and oh yeah, they do. Manufacturing date. Oh, maybe that's the release date. I don't know. It says 9-24-19, but I've had this device. Oh yeah, it was manufactured on 9-24-19, and I was honestly just looking at the um. Pixel 3, and it was like 424, something like that. So it must have been April when they launched the Pixel line, the Pixel 3a line. So anyways, we'll take that down. And here is this amazing, it's not uh, frosted glass, it's matted glass. Um, I feel like compared to this frosted glass, where you can like scratch it with keys and you can get it out of the texture of that uh, frosted. This is matted, so it's got more of a touchy feely texture, so it's grippy. Now we'll tip it over. There we go, without opening everything else up. Now, oh, I, I actually have it on. Oops, it is. But that's fine. There you go, 120 in the morning. Got these amazing. Um, the amazing look of the bottom with the USB-C and the speaker grill and the microphone grill. And then on the left side, you just got the SIM tray. It's this really nice matted aluminum, I guess is what it is. And then you got the one little microphone on the top. And then that orange power button along with the matching to the aluminum texture of the power or the volume rocker and nothing else. So that's nice. And you see that at the top, I don't think we can get it. This is where the sonar is. Uh, left side is where the camera is right there, which they went to a single lens, but it is 90 degree uh, ultra, well, not ultra wide, but 90 degrees. So it's a very wide camera. And then that speaker grill up top, and we have the the down facing speaker which is still super loud and nice quality thinner device now than the pixel uh, 3 um, it's something you just kind of feel in the hand and then you go to the back with these uh, cameras a lot of reviewers out there they do videography and st photos all the time and it's like they're the ones that have been giving the bad rap about how First of all, we've got the flash, we got the laser um, focus up here, but here, oh, and then microphone. Here you've got your normal lens on the on this side, and then over here is just a two times optical telescopic lens. Now everybody's used to the three cameras coming on the iPhone 11 Pro, where you get an ultra wide. Google says that more people use telescopic, and you can get more data out of it. To make the pictures clear, uh, crisper, portrait mode looks much better with it because you're reading two different um, distances, which is nice. But they were trying to say how f Google's realized that people don't really care too deeply about ultra wide. I don't know if that's true or false. Maybe next year we'll get three. But it's nice that after three years we get two cameras. So you get more quality out of it. Um so that's the rear facing battery life on this guy so far has been pretty awesome. I unplugged it at like 10 o'clock and I think it's got 30% and on an average day, 33%. And that's also without turning on power save at all, because if you turn power save on, you don't get the variable 60 to 90 Hertz screen and you don't get, um, you don't get the sonar unlock face unlock it actually turns that off at least i think it does completely i don't know it may only unlock the device i've never actually tried it but um that's all to come and reviewing it having it for a little bit longer <clears throat> if uh if i do the week-long review it'll probably be up on like tuesday or wednesday probably wednesday next week is when i can do it that'll give me a full week with the device but I love it. Um, we're rolling into 10 minutes now, so I want to cut this off pretty quick. On the Pixel 3, 
you can't tell with the screen protector, but the screen actually curves a little bit and the glass curves off to the side. With this guy, it's almost perfectly flat. I would say just the slight edges is, yeah, it's, it's straight all the way to the edge with that small curve that goes down to the bezel. But there is no curved glass this time, which is absolutely awesome. Um, I know some pe manufacturers have really played off of curved screens so that you can do things on it. But I feel like that's a thing. It's like a gimmick almost. Um, it was really to show off curved LCD screens, which is fine. But anyways, um, battery in here is 37 million, 3,700 milliamps which is still not like cutting edge on like the Note and probably similar to the uh, S10. I don't know about the S10 like plus, I guess they call it. But, um, oh, I should look because I have the S10. And that is actually the device that I upgraded to this device with because it's a lease on demand. So I'm going to have to send that one back here pretty quick. Um but anyways, that's the unbox. Oh, I haven't even gotten to the stuff in the box. So we'll make this video as short as we can. So we take it off the top. You got your usual paperwork with the SIM ejection tool in here. So I don't even need to pull that out. I haven't even pulled this out, so I'm not going to. We got our standard length, one meter, um, USB-C to USB-C. USB-C to USB-A transfer cable. And then our usual power brick which I don't even need to take out because I've already got the awesome power cable going to, you got it, the Pixel Stand, which is awesome that this actually continues to work with the Pixel 4. So it charges, plus they opened up third-party charging up to 10 watts, uh, you know, wireless charging. So you're going to get fast charging out of this through all rather than last year which was only exclusive through the pixel stand so again review coming soon give me until wednesday next week sometime wednesday i'll do a review uh, of this and of this which the video i posted just recently in the last little bit uh the fossil gen 5 smartwatch with this really cool um third party band I didn't want to have the metal band because it would get beaten up at work. So I'll put it on when I'm not doing anything work-related. But this I really like. So we'll give the review of both of them, I'm guessing, at that time. Um, so anyways, have a good day. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe below. Another thing really quick as I close this video out is that something that Tech21 did, which I thought was pretty cool, um, every, you've always usually just had, it's on this one, just a power button cover and volume rocker, and they're just built in. Someone thought, hey, let's have removable power buttons. So they came with the black ones, which is here, and these, but you can pop them out and put green ones or yellow ones in there. And even the neon orange, if you got the neon orange case. Um, but I thought it was really cool. So I replaced the power buttons with green just so it's offsetting the uh, power button. So the volume rockers. Anyways, love this case. Um, can't wait to try it out. I took some pictures. I'm going to put them up on Instagram uh, they're from this afternoon because we had a really nice sunny day. But check out my Instagram, cool for Disney. Um, and that's it. Thanks, guys. What you want me to talk about in the review, uh, put it up in comments. Subscribe so you can catch those when they go up live. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Have a good night. Bye.